Good morning boys and girls. Um, today we are still going to look at subtracting two digit numbers from two digit numbers by counting up. Our objective will be able to subtract numbers from two digit numbers by counting up. Another objective is a number, two digit number, three to ten. Okay, so prior knowledge we bonds up to ten and complements the digit numbers. So I'll do to count back, count up numbers all together subtract and equal okay so now let's get started so we should be able to sing our number bonds to 10 i know the numbers which make 10 i know the numbers 10 10 and 0 make 10 9 and 1 make 10 8 and 2 make 10 7 and 3 make 10 Six and five make ten. You know the numbers which make ten. If you know the numbers that make ten, we are now able to do this. Okay, so now this one I've already sorted out for you. You have these numbers. You have 62, take away uh, 72, take away 67. So these ones are two digit numbers and two digit numbers. Subtracting two digit number and a two digit number, it means we will put a frog and the frog will jump up to this two digit number okay if you have 54 take away 48 you'll put the frog next to on top of 48 then you will jump up to 54 now for example for example we have this number over here we have 53 take away 48 so as you can see 53 take away 48 you can see the top of 48 Okay, so the smaller number between 53 and 48 is 48. So the frog will jump, will stand on top of 48, and then it will jump up to 53. Okay, so let's see. First, the frog will jump up to the next 10. So we look at 8. 8 is 1s. 8 is 1s. So 8 and what makes 10? 8 and what makes 10? Because we've been singing numbers that make 10. 8 and 2. 8 and 2 makes 10. So let's see. From 48 up to the next 10, how many steps will it, the frog make? Yay! So you can see it made 2 steps from 48 up to 50. So this is 50. So from 48 up to 50, the frog made 2 steps. How about now from 50 up to 50? Three. How many steps will the frog make? Yay! You can see even the frog is so happy it's jumping, huh? <laughs> okay. Three steps. So from 50 up to 53, that is three steps, which means 2 plus 3 is 5. So from 48 is 5 steps. So the difference between 48 and 55. Okay, so that is the difference. You will add. Remember the vocabulary we have. You add the number that you made from here up to the next 10, which is 2. And you add that number with the number you made from 50 up to the next 2-digit number, which is 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. So the answer is 5, which means 53 take away 48 is 5. Okay, so what about if you are given this number? So let's see. What if you are given this number? So, uh, for example, you've been given... Okay, so let's give an example of this number over here. Um, 54, take away 48. So let's start with 54, take away 48. Okay, so we want to see how the frog is going to jump. 54, so we are going to write 54, okay, take away 48. Mm -hmm. So this time it is 54, take away 48. Again, the frog will stand on the smallest number between 54 and 48. 48 is there, It'll stand on 48, and it's going to jump from 48 up to 50. The number that makes 10 is 8 and 2. 8 and 2 makes 10. So let's see. If the frog is standing on 48, okay, how many steps will it make up to 50? Yay! 
Uh -huh. So the answer is 2. 48. 8 and 2 makes 10. How about now from 50 up to 54? What is the answer? How many steps again does the frog jump? Mm -hmm. It is 4, which means from 50 up to 54. 50, 51, 52, 54. So the frog jumps from 50 up to 54, four steps. So this time we are going to add. You add two and four. So two plus four is six, which four take away 48 is six. Okay, so the answer is six. Okay, very good. So that's one. Uh huh. So I would like you now to try, like you to try this one. 72 take away 67. I want to see how you are going to get your answer. Okay, 72 take away 67. So first we have to clear this. And then we write 72 take away 67. Okay. And then we start. So the next 10. Mm -hmm. So if you have 7 over here, okay, 67. Then you have a number here. The next 10 is what? The next 10 is 70. So from 67 up to 70. 7 and what makes 10? 7 and what makes 10? Uh -huh. Then from 70, how many steps? So you're going to do that, this plus this. Then you get your answer over there. Can you try that? Okay. Now, let's see. Let's find out what the answer is. Uh -huh. So, the frog is going to jump all the way. Yay. Okay. So, it is three steps. Seven and three makes ten. Okay. Then, 72. How many steps are they? Let's find out. Oh, yay. It is... Ah... It has seen a fly and it's catching the fly. Two. Well done. So it is three plus two. So three plus two is five. So six, 72 take away uh, 67 is five. Well done. Okay. So now we are still going now to counting backwards. Counting backwards. So this time we've done the answer is five. We found that the answer is Five. When it counts backwards, so we, here we we realize that the answer is five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then fifty-four take away forty-eight. What was the answer? It was six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we are going to try this. 83, take away 6. When you see a fly, because this is a one-digit number, the fly will go backwards. It is not a frog that jumps like this. Okay, the fly, the fly is going to go backwards. And this time round, we are going to use our 100 square. So we are going to stand in 83, then we go backwards 6 steps. Okay, so we are in so um we are supposed to stand in 83 so i'm going to highlight my 80 there and then so this is the same as putting 83 in your head and six in your th fingers so 83 in my head six in my fingers then the fly will start now going backwards okay uh-huh so the fly is standing on mm -hmm. so we are going backwards okay uh -huh. So let's go backwards. 83. Uh -huh. 82. Okay, so we are going to highlight every step that the fly makes. We highlight it with blue. Okay, so 83. 82. 82. Mm -hmm. 81. Okay. 80. 78. 77. So the answer is 77.
seven. Those are six steps, okay? 83 in my head, seven in my fingers, six in my fingers, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79, 78, 77. So the answer is 77, okay? Now, what I went backwards, okay, from 83, and it stopped on 77. So your answer is 77. So that means that the fly, then it went six steps. So when it went six steps backwards, this fly now will be standing on 77 as the answer. So that's where the fly will stand as there okay so what what if okay so what if now uh three take away five fifty three take away five can you try that one and get the answer Okay, so let's see. We are going to stand in 53 this time round. It is 53, so let's highlight 53. 53. Okay, so now that we've put our mark on 53, the fly will stand on 53 and then it will go five times backwards because it is 53 take away. Five. So if it is 53, take away 5, okay, we are going to highlight our 5 steps to see how many steps does the fly go backwards. So it is 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48. So the answer is 48, okay? So it is 48, which means the fly up to 48. So the fly will stop there. Okay, up to 48. So that's where the fly is going to stop. Okay, nice. So that's what you're supposed to do. When you see a one digit number, a one digit number means you count backwards. When you see a two digit number, you count from the smallest number, you count up to the number. So like this was a one digit number, we were counting backwards and we found our answer R to be 48. I hope you also found that as your answer. as 48 okay so now you have this i would like you to try okay so let's try this one have you mastered subtracting two digit numbers so far we've been doing it throughout okay so like for example here you have 46 plus dash equals 50 this means you're going to count up okay so it is 46 uh -huh, 47 48 49 50 how many steps one, two, three, four. So four is going to be your answer. How about 72 plus box equals 80? Again, here we count up. You're counting up to 80. Two and what makes 10? You have to know numbers that make 10. Two and what makes 10? 72, okay? 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 2 and what makes 10? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is 2 and 8. 2 and 8 makes 10. Mm -hmm. And then we have 94 plus dash equals 100. 4 and what makes 10? 4 and what makes 10? Okay, so 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. So it is 4 and 6. 4 and 6 makes 10. 8 and 2. 8 and 2 makes 10. 6 and 4. 6 and 4 makes 10. Numbers that make 10. Aha, then we have 33. 33 plus what makes 10? 